lawyers for social media companies say Russia continued to spread false information online even after the 2016 election. A Senate Judiciary Subcommittee yesterday questioned representatives of Facebook, Twitter and Google, with lawmakers wanting to know how Russia-backed propaganda spread unnoticed to millions of Americans. Nancy Cordes is inside the hearing room where the Senate this morning will be hearing from the Senate Intelligence Committee, and they'll be asking questions as well. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. That's right. The executives from those three social media giants will face more tough questions today about how exactly they are tackling this problem of Russian ads and fake news that plagued the 2016 election. Yesterday, those executives from Twitter, Facebook and Google told senators that a Internet, an Internet troll farm based in St. Petersburg, Russia, set up 120 Facebook pages where it posted more than 80,000 pieces of content over two and a half years. And here's what happened next. All that material was delivered directly to the news feeds of approximately 29 million American users who then shared it with millions more, not knowing that all of this information was actually coming from Russia. Minnesota Democrat Al Franken wanted to know why such sophisticated tech companies didn't spot the problem sooner. You can't put together rubles with a political ad and go like, hmm, those two data points spell out something bad. In hindsight, uh, it's one we missed. Okay, okay, yeah. Facebook's attorney said that those Russian ads and posts did not stop after the election. In fact, they just changed their focus and were aimed at sowing discord in the country and raising doubts about President Trump's legitimacy. They say that this is a sign that these trolls were more intent on creating chaos in the United States than they were on focusing on one particular candidate. Thanks, Nancy.